This will be a brief demonstration cut of a forest manufacturing vertical blade traveling head bandsaw. Um, I haven't even named this thing yet. I'll come up with some string of letters and numbers later on to describe it. But what we have here is a vertical blade saw based on our model 2054. So it has 20 inch wheels. Um, we're currently carrying a one inch wide blade, pneumatic blade tension. The idea here is this machine is intended to run in a conveyor system. I have a customer who builds structural insulated panels. So you've got layers of uh, um, composite wood here, a what four to six pound urethane foam, another layer of uh, wood, structural, uh, technically called a structural insulated panel or SIP. So they've got a conveyor belt that just shoots these along and they need to be able to rip them at any arbitrary width. So we have taken one of our 2054s or a variant of it, mounted it on linear bearings so we can move the whole thing back and forth. I want to do a test cut on this machine, but I do not have the whole conveyor set up. So we have, actually to be fair, John has done the actual work here of setting up a temporary table just so we can slide a workpiece across and make a test cut. I can't have a machine leave my factory without doing test cuts on it. Uh, so like I said, 2054 based, four 20 inch wheels, running a five horsepower um, blade drive motor, blade speed about 3,000 feet per minute. The drive motor is a brake motor. We have a little control panel over here. Uh, basic controls, fuse disconnect, magnetic motor starter with overload, basic uh, control logic here, soft start, soft stop, blade tension and detension from the control panel here. We have a brake on this thing, so the the head can travel this way, side to side, so you can rip the panel wherever you want it. I actually have two brakes on this one. I have a pneumatic actuated brake over on the back side. That's controlled here from the panel. And I cannot start the saw when the brake is not engaged. I have a second manual brake here with an electronic digital position readout mounted. So. The idea is the operator will disengage the power brake, which also locks out from starting the saw. You can come over here, release the manual brake in addition, move the saw wherever you want it, lock it back down with the manual brake, and then reset the control panel so we can run. Um, saw running indicator, we've got some excess relay capacity in here so that the A potential customer wants to integrate their conveyors or other systems with this control panel that can tie in pretty easily. It's just laser logic. Oh, we have a laser. So unfortunately, this is not the kind of laser that actually cuts things, a la Star Trek. Um, but it's just a bright red line shows up on the workpiece to indicate where you're going to make your cut. Um, I know you're pretty backlit right here as this video is pointing, so that may be a little hard to see. But um, with Jonathan's help here, and actually, let's grab Rick real quick. Yo, Rick! Need some muscle. Sorry about that, I should have my whole crew assembled before I started this. Test cut time. We're gonna slide this through. Yes, please. So we'll go ahead and start the saw. Um, I'll position over here to the side to push it into the fence, make sure we're ripping, ripping clean. at all. I tell you what, let's do one more. Call it a speed run. If you'll re-index the, re -index the workpiece, the home position, make another cut. Let's go for a speed run. 
Let's do a quick show off here. Don't be beating on the head with this. Ooh, splinter. Two. Beautiful cut. Okay, start the saw up. Actually, one thing we should have done, this machine has an adjustable. So the upper guide and the associated guard are adjustable. Unlock it, hand crank down. It does two things for you. Minimizes the free blade length and it guards the unused portion of the blade. So spin it up. Boom. Love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, I think this saw's ability to cut is greater than our ability to run a workpiece through. That is lovely. If you have any questions, would like to discuss a specific application for bandsaws or even one of these, please feel free to call or email us here at Forest Manufacturing. Thank you.